The CCS approval for the Indigenous Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft, AMCA, a fifth-generation twin-engine fighter aircraft being developed for the Indian Air Force, is expected any day now. Initially, the IAF is expected to have seven AMCA squadrons. According to senior defense officials, the preliminary design review of the aircraft is complete, and an ambitious timeline of 2024 is planned. Dr. A.K. Ghosh, project director of AMCA, at Aeronautical Development Agency, told News 18 that the aircraft will roll out of the hangar within three and a half years of approval, and it will fly within a year after that. When developed and deployed by the IAF, the AMCA will join a select group of nations that have developed a fifth-generation fighter. At present, only the United States, Russia, and China have developed such advanced jets with the F-35 Lightning II, Sukhoi Su-57, and J-20 Mighty Dragon are among them. The AMCA project director also stated that the AMCA will be comparable to other global fifth-generation fighter jets, such as the American F-35 Lightning II and the Russian Su-57 aircraft, despite the latter being in the heavyweight category. The AMCA will be in the medium weight category, which comprises 25-ton class aircraft. F-35 and AMCA The F-35 is a multi-role stealth fighter with a single engine and supersonic speed. The F-35 has low observables, modern avionics, and sensor fusion, allowing for a high level of situational awareness and long-range lethality. The AMCA is an IAAF-built, stealth supersonic multi-role fighter, with twin engines. The AMCA is envisioned as a fifth-generation fighter for the time being, but it will eventually include emerging, best-of-breed sixth-generation technologies. In AMCA, all data collected from various senses is processed and presented to the pilot as a single integrated picture of the battlefield, which can be automatically shared with other fighters and ground stations. This type of sensor fusion will provide the pilot with incredible situational awareness. Vehicle management, including weapons, data fusion, decision aids, integrated modular avionics, internal weapon carriage, and signature control will all be available in the AMCA. But the AMCA lacks vertical takeoff and landing, unlike the F-35 fighter jet. Su-57 and AMCA The Su-57 ranks last in stealth among fifth-generation aircraft, but that doesn't mean its stealth capability should be dismissed entirely. AMCA, on the other hand, is a fifth-plus generation aircraft. Because it has many features that set it apart from other fifth-generation aircraft, it will place a strong emphasis on stealth, sensors, and weapons. However, it is the engine's thrust capability that makes them to fly faster, higher and agile maneuverability. Russia Su-57 engine, AL-41F1 produces 147 kilonewtons. The AMCA MK-1 will be powered by the existing 90 kilonewtons class engine, GE-414 engines from the United States. While the AMCA MK-2 will be powered by a stronger engine, indigenously made by GTRE in collaboration with a foreign player. Under the Kaveri program, which was approved in 1989, India was unable to successfully design and develop a jet engine for its LCA. However, the negotiations between India and France to develop a 125 kilonewtons engine for the AMCA are at an advanced stage. In combat, it's not about who has the smallest radar cross-section or infrared signature, it's about maximizing the effectiveness of these platforms, and the Su-57 wasn't designed to be a stealthy scrapper, like the F-22. Cost of the AMCA The cost of the aircraft will be determined by the package of sensors and weapons desired by the IAF. Furthermore, according to the report, the AMCA can carry a variety of weapons. It will be equipped with S-8 rocket pods, Astra Mark 1, 2, 3, and NGCCM air-to-air missiles, as well as BrahMos NG, SANT, and Rudram air-to-ground missiles. Among other things, it will carry laser-guided bombs, NGLGB, precision-guided munitions, HSLD, DRDO SAR, and DRDO glide bombs. The AMCA project director stated, we are planning to start developing the aircraft and building prototypes very soon, and it's a significant step up from a fourth-generation aircraft. The aircraft's complex design incorporates a weapons bay. The aircraft will have a 75% indigenous content, to begin with, with the goal of increasing it to 85-90% to in the coming years.